anymore. I fear it's become a uh, Centurion because it's never coming back, I fear. I mean, they, the way that New York always is, it'll come back somehow. Yeah. Some way, some shape or form. You know you're going to see these players. If you don't see them on the world stage, you're going to see them on the local stage. Unfortunately, Yorkers don't let shit die for nothing. So we're going to be seeing <laughs> us go right back over to PS2. Maybe not for a last time, because this stage is everywhere. Oh, hell no! This hell is, no, no. This is, this is everyone's home stage. away from home! Are you kidding me? It really is, and I don't know what. I'm tired of it. And honestly, PS2 hater. But it's A-OK. -okay. We're going to be seeing Sinji and Zomba, like you had mentioned earlier. Very, very classic set we have going on today. It's been a very long time since we've seen them, though. Yeah, we've gotten into the age where you'll see players pick and choose when they pop out to locals. Mm -hmm. So even though back in the day this may have been a common occurrence, especially when both of these players were more on the come up, now it's a rare occurrence. For old heads, this is another walk in the park. It's just another stock. But you also got to take into consideration how much these players have grown since the last time they would routinely play against each other. Especially, I want to say literally Zomba, for example. You know, started off, Xeno was beginning and Zama was just getting out of diapers at this point, right? <laughs> so he's become he's in college. He can drive. Guys, he drove he drove out of Staten Island finally. No more boat rides for him. And also no free ride here for Sinji either as he has to work his way to get a some kind of some sort of footing here against Zamba. It happened for a little while there. We were able to bump Zamba's percentage over to the 135 percentage mark, but Zamba is able to kind of re-establish his dominance here. You know, talking about the work these players are doing just in this set alone, also take into consideration the work it took to get into winner's semis. This has been a stacked Xeno. And like, a stacked, stacked Xeno. So to have the endurance to make it this far, where we are, we're into Xeno Thursday at this point. Yes. We are, we are in the two day special. And we've still got plenty more. But do the players have plenty more? How much gas in the tank do they have? Do you want to be fighting, Sinji? Uh -huh. At midnight? No! I, I, I said this. Sinji gives everyone a mental debuff whenever you're fighting him, and that's on purpose. But Zamba does not care. I mean, at this point, he's this man has grown up with this game literally throughout its lifespan, and you know, it, hopefully the next as well. And he is has his mental down pat, he has his barriers down pat, he has his us, his us down packed, and he's able to catch Sinji uh, on that last stock now. Zamba's still with, with two stocks, 50% to go, and we get a little bit of a nice little combo going in, but you see the little air dodge up like Grapefruit is really cute. There's, there's so much to unpack when it comes to the tools that Rob is bringing to the table. Now, Pac-Man has forever been like the poster child of funny tools, lots of gimmick behind the tools. There's so many things he could do. And Sinji's always been such a good player to showcase all of the things that Pac-Man can do with the variety of tools he has. Meanwhile, Rob is able to accomplish so much with so little with all of his tools. So many good buttons for his normals. So much that can be done with Top. The sheer presence of Top. How Zaba also utilizes his laser, like these are all features of his play that Sinji is going to have to deal with as well. And I feel like he's dealing with it well, as he's managed to mitigate a lot of the pressure from the stocks that Zama's has held up. But the percentages are climbing to the point where Sinji's got to start like slowing the match down. You're absolutely right. He's super good at that. We have seen multiple, uh, we, have, we actually see, saw a uh, two-time match from Sinji just previously in, uh, in, win in, uh, in Wave B, right? So he's very familiar with that kind of slow down match style even though he will argue he is the aggressor in fact he can't slow it down and Zamba has to either play that game slow the tempo down and utilize those lasers you're talking about the gyro especially or you go in and you box a little bit more yeah, b boxing with uh, Rob is uh, a feat unto itself when you ha also have to deal with the laser also have to deal with the top and uh, Sinji has the tools to do it like Pac-Man is no shortage of good normals. Do not be lied to. Do not be <laughs> fooled. No propaganda here. <laughs> but also, are they good? Like, Rob level good? That much I don't know about. It's definitely, like, Sinji knowing the danger that's ahead of him and picking and choosing these little scraps with Zamba. That's what's dragging out this match. And the longer it drags out, the better it's going to be for Sinji. I love that Sinji held that bell for so long and trying to maneuver around things like the small gyro, things like the gyro, uh, the small gyro, please. The small laser <laughs> and things like gyro in order to maybe see if he can catch Zamba lacking a little bit with that bell in hand. But even throughout all that, we're still seeing an incredibly even game here despite Zamba having been in the drive for C4, I want to say a good 80% of the ma of the first round as well. Once he's on Zamba, has to recover super high up with the gas, and of course, Rob being one of the only characters who can actually do that, and it forces Sinji to hunker down and wait a little bit. 
I still think, like, that's really good for Sinji, all things considered. He's the one who's going to have to push any type of interaction that's going to lead to stocks flying. Whether it ends up him pushing too far, oh. and... Um. Yeah, you know. That. So, let's talk about it. Me, when I have Hydra. That's it. And now this is done. Yeah, he really ran forward into <laughs> yeah, it, too. Yeah, I'm saying <laughs> He really did take one step too many. That's crazy. It's just sometimes he, he you got the face right on now. too. He, damn. <laughs> it's like damn. I really just walked into that by myself. Watch, watch. I'm right see here. This, look, look. Right look. here. I have a great corner at my disposal. Little Quote from there. Sinji. Quote from Zamba. Actually, bonk. What were we cooking? I must understand. It's okay. We're still in. This, this this is especially true for a Xeno Thursday. Um, now that we're in that territory. We're best of three all night, all night. I don't care if it's top, if it's grands, winners finals, losers finals. I don't care. We actually, actually, we don't have our tomorrow, July 4th. That's right. Oh, wait, That's happy right. July 4th, everybody. Happy Independence Day. People Gino are, is independent now. People are EP, though. I, people yeah, do people. not want to be dealing with all of this. No, we don't, especially Zaba. Neither Zaba nor Sinji want to deal with this. Do they not get it twisted. They might be super patient players. Yes. They might be able to burn that candle down to the last. That does not mean they're trying to do this at 1 a.m. We, we might have a 1 a.m. Xeno tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And what better way to send it for the final Xeno Saga regardless? Oh, sorry, Xeno Saga, please. Xeno Ooh. Weekly regardless. Oh, I wish. That was a movie last time. Give me seeing the barrier into the up tilt. Give me waiting on the option, forcing the air dodge. And the drift towards the platform allows that up smash to come through. The safety of the platforms truly is illusion of choice when you have <laughs> Rob controlling the base platform of PS2. So many options at his disposal. And... In my opinion, Zama chooses the wisest by not leaving the ground. Not committing to a jump is so strong on PS2 because it allows Zama to position wherever. Sinji can stall for as long as he wants, but while you're not committing to a movement option, you can just react accordingly. Oh, not gonna be able to get any punish though, because you know, Pac-Man is Pac-Man, of course. He's over two on those! I want Sinji to hit that so bad, but he cannot afford to waste all that time lining up with side special. We see this come through a tiny bit of percentage on Sinji, 136% on Zomba here. However, Sinji should have this pretty much in the bag, especially with how much of a high percentage Rob is at currently. But I mean, Zomba is continuing on, keeping this rage for himself and really being selfish with that extra little power it does give you in this game. Trying to get that downer, gets his uh, sour hit, however, allows him to come right back almost for free, but hangs That's out a little damage. bit too late there. That's damage, ma. You look at the numbers climb. Zamba's big chillin' at 147. He's ready to pop like a balloon, but that's still a whole stock ahead of Sinji. The he, apple is there. Oh. That, yeah, that could have gone places. It could have gone places. It was not that far from the tree, I see. It's it's so funny when you see the interactions between Gyro and any of the bonus fruit. Because, like, there really is, like, a whole cavalcade of things that uh, Pac-Man can throw at you at any given time. And, like, the, the top is just better. Uh, you can argue in these situations which of the bonus fruit are better for what, but like the top is such a good item. Oh, try to get a little overzealous try to see if you saw the startup of the back air coming through, but thankfully Sinji able to kind of weave around with his recovery option, and now the bell is active on that platform. Nice shield coming in from Zombo. Nice waiting on that timing of that bell drop, and thankfully Sinji's not able to actually take off this first stock. Still, we have shaved off three oh. minutes, and we are three one so far. Zamba's sitting in a position where oh. he could very well run away with it. He's trying to. He's trying to. Arm rotor. Oh, trying to get the up air after, uh, as a conversion. But he still okay. got him in the mix. St oh. He still got him in the mix. Um. Zamba, I knew, you know what I love about like watching those kind of things happen? So you could have done this at any point. So you chose true, to waste true. my time. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I got to say. I mean, it is 12.13 in the morning. I mean, look, you got to... That's the kind of situation where your opponents already put the noose around themselves. You, you just got to watch them drop it. Yeah. Because you see every option get bled out. And it's rough. Because you know at any point, the Z-drop Nairs can come. Yep. Arm Rotor, you tried calling it. But there were still, like, three other options Zamba had. Fair ended up doing the deed. But, like, at any point, Arm Rotor could have done it. Could have gotten a little silly. Gone for down air, maybe. Even Sour Hit down air could have been killed outside. If you want to really spice it up. But... There was so much available to Zamba, Sinji just had to hold that. Absolutely. And honestly, the first game I've seen that has been above three minutes today from Sinji. So you know what? I'll take that W any day, any day of the week. We also 
Coming up on deck, you know, we are going to be seeing 